Hi, I'm Sega from Elgato, and in this video, I'd like to share with you one of the most exciting updates to come to Wavelink to date. Introducing Wavelink 1.4. So, what's so great about Wavelink 1.4? Well, with it comes the most highly requested feature, VST support. That's right, Wavelink is now a full VST2 and VST3 host, allowing you to customize the sound of your audio to your heart's content. Now, for those who might be unaware of what VSTs are, I'd like to think of them sort of like Stream Deck plugins, except for your microphone or audio device. Online, you can find free or paid for VSTs that allow you to customize the different aspects of how your audio device or microphone performs. For example, you can customize the tone of how your Wave microphone or XLR microphone with Wave XLR sounds by using an EQ VST. Or you can add a noise gate VST, which rejects noise under a certain decibel, which helps reject background noise like air conditioners or keyboards. Or you can have some fun with it and add some really creative effects to your voice and almost create your own voice mod sound. And because of Wavelink's integration with Stream Deck, you can toggle all of these effects on and off at the touch of a button. Also, one of the coolest parts of this update is not only can you add VST effects to your microphone channel, but you can add them to any of the nine hardware or software audio channels within Wavelink. So with this, you could add a VST to your game audio channel, like adding a limiter, so in case there's a really loud sequence at some point in the game, you aren't going to be hurting your audience's ears. Or if you happen to be playing with some friends on Discord and maybe they get as loud as a game would in that case, you could add a limiter to them as well to achieve the same effect. Lastly, while you customize these VSTs within their respective interfaces, you can toggle them on and off using your mouse or stream deck within the Wavelink app for both your monitor mix, which is what you hear when you're streaming, or your stream mix, which is what your audience hears. But this brings me to the last feature we're bringing to Wavelink, which is called Microphone FX. So what is Microphone FX? Well, say you've added all of these great VSTs to your microphone to make it sound amazing for your stream. We thought, how can we apply this same benefit to your voice chat as well? So microphone effects is essentially a third output mix for Wavelink, but it's just for the microphone channel. So microphone effects shows up as a recording device that can be selected as an audio input in your favorite software. And when you select it, your friends are gonna hear all of the great audio effects that you've added to your microphone without having to hear all of the other audio channels that they would otherwise have if you added the stream mix as your mic input in that software. So now they don't have to hear your game audio or your Spotify, etc. Oh, and one more thing. The next feature we're working to bring to Wavelink software is a full third audio output mix. Meaning if you use Discord voice chat and you want not only your microphone channel to go to your friends, but also let's say a soundboard audio channel, you'd be able to do so using this feature. Or if you use Twitch Soundtrack and you want one mix going to your live feed with music and another mix going to your VOD feed without music, you'd also be able to do that using this feature. We're working really hard on making this feature a reality. So if you'd like to stay up to date on new software features, be sure to join our Discord because we regularly hold public betas within our Discord community to test out some of these features before release. Like this VST feature, for example. Members of our Discord community have beta tested this feature for the past month to help us get it ready for the full release. And I'd personally like to thank everybody who helped beta test to make this release a reality. So if you aren't already a member, be sure to click the link in the description panel down below to become a member of our awesome community. If you'd like to learn more about the VST update for Wavelink 1.4, be sure to head over to our new second YouTube channel, Elgato Workshop, where we've created tutorials to show you how to add VSTs to Wavelink and how to set up some of our favorite VSTs so you can take your audio quality to the next level. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed so you can catch the rest of our videos and tutorials to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato and until our next video, good luck and have fun.